Our final step in system discovery is attempting to identify the operating system that is running on the hosts. One tool that can be helpful in passively identifying operating systems is POF, so use the command P0F-H to see the various uses and syntax of this tool. Then for a basic discovery, use P0F-I, followed by the interface that you want to perform the operating system discovery on, so in this case we'll use ETH0. As soon as you launch the command, it starts analyzing the traffic on the wire to look for signatures that might identify a specific operating system. This can be especially effective if you have created a man-in-the-middle scenario between a host and the gateway, but you don't want any more interaction between your system and the target system. We'll discuss man-in-the-middle in greater detail in a later video. Unfortunately, in most cases, your screen is going to be flooded with a lot of unknown signatures, so to filter out those unknown signatures and focus exclusively on the helpful signatures, use the command P0F dash I followed by the interface, and then dash U to eliminate the unknown signatures. Using this approach, you will get fewer results, but the results that you do get will be much more reliable in fingerprinting the operating system. A more active tool in identifying operating systems is xprobe2. Enter the command xprobe2 dash H to see the uses of the tool. Then to perform a basic OS identification, use xprobe2 followed by the IP address of the target system. Once completed, it will return a best guess listed under primary guess, and then list other possibilities under other guesses. It also includes a guess probability for each guess listed. If you do the math, you will probably realize that the guess probabilities are not relative to one another, as you would quickly end up with way more than 100%. Instead, this is an indication of the percentage of the signatures associated with that specific operating system that were discovered. However, because these signatures aren't always unique, this could result in multiple guesses with a high guess probability. InMap also has a function that can be used to identify operating systems on target hosts. Enter the command InMap followed by the IP address or IP range that you want to perform OS identification on, and then dash O for operating system identification. This will return results that are very similar to what we saw with Xprobe where it will either positively identify the operating system with a 100% confidence rating, or when less confident, it will give its best guess, and in some cases, will indicate that too many fingerprints match the host to give specific OS details. So those are just a few ways that you can perform both passive and active OS identification on a system.